I'm going to do a quick video on a specialized dip net. Uh, normally these are used at the uh, bait shops and bait camps in the Texas Gulf Coast where they uh, sell live shrimp by the pint and by the quart. I use the skills uh, that I teach in making cast nets part two. You can learn how to make the webbing uh, for the, the net itself. Uh, this is a 16 ounce measuring cup with holes in it so the water drains out uh, where they'll uh, measure out the uh, shrimp, the live shrimp, and uh, sell them by the, uh, the pint or the quart. This net is uh, designed 7 by 10 by 13, and the handle is three foot long. I used number 18 twine, a 7 16 gauge here, and a uh, needle that would normally be used on gill nets. I needed the capacity in order to, to hold this larger twine. The net is on 304 stainless steel hoop that I formed. The handle is 304 stainless, three feet as I said. The cup is, uh, like I say, 16 in, I mean 16 ounce cup. The, uh, the, the mesh is fairly small. It's, uh, it's slightly open there and it shows about three quarters of an inch. But uh, it's a simple net uh, that you could make uh, using the skills that you can learn in uh, uh, my cast net making videos, making cast nets part two will show you how to make this webbing. And essentially what I did is I used the exact same process for making a cast net. This would be normally be the top of a cast net, but uh, with the with the mesh being open, it shows about eight and a half inches, uh, eight inches. Uh, the, the mesh is, is a little wide here, so it's gonna show a different measurement, but the net is a, is a round net, and it comes in right around eight and a half inches. So if you wanna make uh, these this type of net for any of the bait camps or uh, bait shops that you might know of that sell live shrimp or even live minnows, if they're measured by the the pint or by the uh, quart, then all you have to do is get a quart size cup or a 16 ounce cup, 304 stainless. I hope you're able to uh, make yourself some nets and uh, or help supply the, uh, uh, the local area. Uh, I know the Texas Gulf Coast uses them. If you've ever been in a bait shop in Texas when buying shrimp, this is what you'll see them using normally. Thanks for watching.